art today at the Gulfport Museum of History's first holiday open house. And as the museum does, art helps to look toward the future by glancing in the rearview mirror. While the Gulfport Museum of History takes you back in time, it's not to keep you there. It's to give perspective on how to move forward. And Betty Shaw, president of the Historical Society of Gulfport, is ready for what's to come. We're excited to be in this location. We're excited for the train to be coming. We're excited for visitors to be here. Gulfport's a great place to live. Sunday's public open house for the museum featured literary and visual art to bridge that gap between past and future. The work like that of painter Milton Williams was meant to be in the present, but has unintentionally become part of history. To a degree, we are historians, because some of the subject matter that we've painted doesn't exist anymore, or has changed a lot. So uh, I think all artists in their own way are historians. Alicia Rogers, a watercolorist for about three years, is intentional about her work. I want to capture the whimsy of the Gulf Coast. I want to bridge the gap between our future and our past. And in her world, all art forms and filters have their place. There's all sorts of lenses and all sorts of communities that we can represent here. And seeing this through the eyes of the artists is something that I think is really important. And the Gulfport Museum of History is the perfect backdrop. It's the local flavor in connecting with the local uh, community. And we really have some excellent artists and authors. It's just an exciting time, and I think people can be inspired by what's going on locally. This was the last public event of the year for the museum, which is getting ready for a busy 2023 when Gulfport celebrates its founding 125 years ago. There's an urgent